March 14, 2018, Mariel Franco was assassinated. All over Brazil on Tuesday, people gathered to pay tribute to the slain activist and leader on her fifth death anniversary. The question of who ordered her murder remains unsolved. But with the fresh investigation that has been ordered by the new government of President Lula da Silva, friends and family are hoping to get answers. Who was Mariel? As rodas da resistência nascem no asfalto. A gente recebe rosa, a gente vai estar com o cerrado também, falando do nosso lugar de vida e resistência contra os mandos e desmandos que afetam as nossas vidas. Mariel Franco was a black lesbian human rights activist from Rio de Janeiro's poor Mare neighborhood. who became a symbol of resistance against all forms of oppression. In 2016, Franco was elected to the City Council of Rio de Janeiro as a candidate for the Socialism and Liberty Party. During a little more than one year of her mandate, Mariel Franco presented 16 bills in the City Council chamber, skillfully addressing gender, race and class issues. Five of these bills were passed in an extraordinary session in August 2018, five months after her assassination. They dealt with issues like providing care for children while their parents are at work or in school, the training of adolescents that fulfilled socio-educational measures and specific policies to support women and victims of harassment through the local municipal government. Mariel Franco and her driver Anderson Gomez were killed on the night of March 14, 2018. The councilwoman was returning home taken by her driver after attending an event in downtown Rio de Janeiro. As they drove a car ambushed them in the Estacion neighborhood and fired at least 13 shots. Franco was hit four times in the head and Gomez three times in the back. In March 2019, two days before the one-year anniversary of the crime, retired military officers Ronnie Lessa and Elcio Vieira de Queiroz were arrested. According to the prosecution, Lessa was allegedly the one who fired the shots while Queiroz drove the car that chased and ambushed the victims. Lessa and Queiroz were charged as the perpetrators of the murder. They have been in pretrial detention since 2019. But the most important question regarding her assassination still remains unanswered. Who ordered the murder of Marielle and what's the motive behind the crime? Previous investigations indicated that Lessa and Queiroz were members of far-right militias that operate in Rio de Janeiro with whom former Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro allegedly had links. Bolsonaro never accepted the claims but the investigations into Franco's murder could not be clarified during his presidency. Bolsonaro also dismissed several investigators and prosecutors who were making progress in the investigation of Franco's assassination. In February, Brazil's Justice and Public Security Minister Flavio Dino stated that a new investigation has been opened into Franco and Gomez's assassination. On Franco's death anniversary, Lula reiterated the government's commitment to finding answers.